We ready? Going. I'm Nick Chapman, I'm a men's physique competitor, I'm 32 and I'm from Bristol. So I'm two weeks to my competition. I'm going to take you through a journey and hopefully all ups and no downs. I can't promise you anything but I'm going to take you through it from start to finish from now to the end. Massive fan of football, still am, love watching it and I've uh, literally just stopped playing it because I moved into to men's physique. Um, it just went from mate's garage called Stain's Gym. Uh, had the name Stain's Gym for a reason. We just got covered in a load of dust training. It was just proper hardcore home gym. Uh, and basically, we had a good time in there. It was, it was decent. Um, and I fell in love with the fitness industry since then. I've always trained and trained and trained. And I recently started competing. And uh, I went into my first show and I come third in the qualifier and then I was able to, to go into the men's physique British finals, uh, which sadly it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but at the end of the day, you, you learn from it and I progress myself physically into the next level. And uh, yeah, so that's how I got into fitness really. It was come from football, mates gym, and then took it to the next level. My diet from say five years ago to my diet to, to how I am now like when I first started training like I said when I was training in a mates gym in Staines um, the amount of food we used to eat it was it was unbelievable our nutrition was was totally off you know we used to go in train hard no doubt about it we trained hard we, we did train hard but we used to go in his kitchen after two scoops of protein two scoops of ice cream full fat milk you know, we, we had a diet like that when we were younger. We just didn't care. We just used to try and eat big and try and get big. And, you know, times have moved on from that now, you know, is your, your nutrition's tightened up, you learn. And uh, I'm still learning to this day and I will continue to learn in the future, no doubt about it. But, you know, yeah, my diet was, was mad and it used to be mad. And, uh, you know, looking back on it now, I think, how do, how do I used to do that? But it, it is what it is and now you know moving on and moving forward you know you tighten up your nutrition and 
you know, the results come. As soon as I found the right nutrition and the right diet, the results did come. And uh, yeah, it's, it's mad what I used to eat. Uh, things that motivate me, um, you know, there's some, some great athletes, amateur and pro. There is so many athletes on the social media that you can keep motivated and you can keep logging into their daily lives now and see what they're doing in 24 hours and what they're posting. And there is some brilliant athletes out there, no doubt about it. But the thing that motivates me and should motivate you guys is, is yourself. You know, I think it's you versus you all the time. Um, how I was in my last show, I now need to beat that. Or how I am now, I, I need to look forward and beat that. It's definitely, you know, again, is mindset. You know, you need to go and beat yourself every time you step in the gym or go in the kitchen and get your diet right. You need to beat yourself. It's you versus you. Social media is massive these days. Fashion, food, fitness, you name it, is, is massive, it's huge. And, you know, you get people on there which are you know positive people and that they're the people you want to focus on at the end of the day um, and then you've got your people in the gym you know you can go to some gyms and some people you know will no doubt bad they're going to talk about you good or bad um, but if they talk about you bad take it as good you know they're talking about you at the end of the day um, so yeah I never worry about what people think um, and you know let them have their thoughts and it is what it is at the end of the day, you're gonna get it no matter what gym you go to. Um, and also, people, you know, competing, you, you would think it's such a competitive, competitive environment. Um, but then, looking back at it now, everyone's so friendly. You know, you're backstage and you think it would be quite clicky, but everybody's been through the same journey. Everyone's done the same thing. Everyone's gone through a massive prep to get where they are in get to the day and everybody wants to enjoy their day everybody wants to get on stage and have a good time and uh, yeah you'd be surprised on the day everybody's happy and everyone's friendly but you know the fitness industry is what it is now and you just got to take it for what it is and what I'm going to be doing now is is getting my body in to that peak condition now you know I've been on a depletion uh, with my diet and I can train it very very hard with high reps um, so what I need to do now is tighten up my physique. The last two weeks is quite key. Uh, at the end of the day, if you're physically not ready in two weeks, then you've done something wrong with your prep. You've had all that time to get ready. You need to be ready within the two weeks. You know, my, my body is what it is now. And what I need to do now is play with a few things within the diet, which you know I will talk to you about through, through the journey. Um, so I just need to tighten up the physique now. So changing your carbohydrate source can be decent. Um, changing your fat source can be decent and always keeping your proteins high. So that is something I'm gonna be doing now, going through, which is gonna tighten up the physique. Um, and then obviously the peak week, which is uh, an important week. We're depleting carbs, we're loading carbs, we're loading water, we're dropping water. It's gonna be pretty full on, but I'll show you how it goes and how I will cope with it. Um, and then hopefully I'll be ready for the show. And my target is pro card. You know, I'm, I'm an amateur athlete and my main goal is to, to get to the top. And if I can get a pro card status, then, then that'll make my year. If I don't get it this year, I'll go again. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get this card and we'll smash it. How's that, boss?
just uh, basically cardio based. Uh, I've been doing this for about 12 weeks. Um, in out the cardio just before I do anything. And then I go home and get some breakfast in. Uh, going in and doing it now, this is my last week. And then peak week, I will start to then unwind my cardio. Um, I'm not as doing it as heavy at the moment because like I said, again, I am what I am now. So I can't get anything else off. This is just gonna keep ticking it over. So. Uh... week I'll come in here and I'll just run through my routine a few poses checking myself on all angles making sure I'm hitting and tweaking every every angle on every pose so it's all about just getting yourself ready that now sweat it's right on got the waist trainer on it's like a sweat band so it's just getting you nice and sweaty here sucking in all the all the sweat all the salt leaving your body and then start posing <laughs> Uh, two weeks. It's not long, but it's plenty of time to tweak the diet. So let's go get some breakfast. So today, uh, start of peak week. So I've trained this morning. So now I need to think about the rest of my week. So I've got my notes down here, like I said, to clear my head and I need to go get a few things from the shop. So today we're going to go at the shops. My head's fried. So I need a list. Let's go. So part of dehydrating, can't get in. Oh. 
serious note. Time to get in. Vitamin C, uh, I'm gonna start increasing my vitamin C and peak wheat. This is gonna help dry me out. Cod livers, I'm getting old for the joints. Mm. Gluten free, but at the moment I'm trying to keep the stomach light. So I've got some gluten free oats from my carb up day. And for show day, some salted rice cakes, gluten free again, to keep the stomach down. Uh, ready for me carb up. Back stay. Shawn Michaels from the WWF. Done. That's me done for the week. I'm gonna go home now, prep it all up, and chill out for the rest of the week. Huh? The technique usually is to fill two bags up and as you're walking up the stairs, work the traps. The loner in the cinema. So this time uh, in four days, I'm going to be here in Bristol at the Olympus Theatre in Filton, competing with the UFL uh, men's physique category, beach body category, and also uh, international physique model. Um, two categories which are new to me. Um, but I'm going to give them a go whilst I'm here in condition, and they have these shows running and these categories running. I'm going to get myself involved and see how well I do. So uh, two new categories to me, but the most important is uh, the men's physique. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. Um, happy with my condition. Um, my condition from this year and last year is completely different. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what the judges think on the day, but uh, I'm going to take it as it comes. But I'm feeling good and uh, I'm looking forward to coming here and competing in front of, uh, in front of 120 people here at the Olympus Theatre and we'll see how we get on. So at the moment I've been on a 14 week prep um, to get myself down from my bulking condition into show condition. Um, so it's only 14 week. Um, the training that's different is basically more in high intensity and keeping everything more intense. Uh, my training when I'm bulking is obviously more heavy. I'm more looking to build muscle, uh, muscle mass, but going in a calorie depletion, uh, I'm looking to get myself in a better condition and better show shape. And it's took me 14 weeks to get down. That's cardio in every morning uh, from an hour and then easing into about 40 minutes cardio. 
and the diet is intense. It, it gets intense, but it's got to be done. Um, basically dropping carbs out my diet as I go along and obviously into peak week, cutting my carbs down uh, and then carb loading and increasing my water. And the Friday before the show, basically, I will then cut all water, basically eat chicken all day and this will help me dry out and I see how I'm looking the day before. Um, if I feel I can have a steak and chips, I will, uh, but that's just down to how I'm looking the night before. Two glasses of dry white wine, looking forward to that, uh, but that's gonna dehydrate me even more and get me show ready. Last year, last year was personally emotional. Um, a lot happened to me last year personally, which uh, was hard within prep. My, my prep before my qualifier uh, was very difficult. My, uh, I lost my granddad, he fell ill, which, um, which was a difficult time. You know, you're in stage, you're in the stage where you're trying to prep for a show um, and then something like that hits your, hits your family. Um, and that's sad times, you know, it was, it was hard work. It, was, it took a lot to keep your mind in focus and keep your mind straight. Um, he fell ill and uh, sadly lost him in my first prep. Um, and then I qualified, which was obviously amazing. It was, it was good to qualify for the British finals. Um, and then sadly I lost my nan. She, she fell ill uh, with cancer. So yeah, I lost my nan uh, on my build up to my British finals, which was which was a difficult stage. Um, that was a hard time in my life. I, I've never uh, been in that place before, and uh, that, was, that was difficult. Um, but I know they'll be looking down now. They never got to see my my results to the British finals. Um, they used to think I was crazy coming to visit them all the time with. Uh, with my diet foods and that, but um, it's a shame they didn't get to see where I got to last year. Um, but it is what it is, I know they're looking down, and uh, hopefully this year will be a good year, and uh, I can dedicate, them, dedicate everything to them, and we'll see how we get on. But last year, you know, personally was, was successful, but um, yeah, there were some lows, but we got through them. And uh, they, were, they were most, they were really important in my life, and I'll never forget them. And uh, I've got to do this for them. I've been more focused this year. Uh, having a taste for it last year has really made me want to go and push more this year. So this year, basically, I want to get that pro card. Um, if I don't get it this year, I'll go again, and I'll go again, and I'll go again. I need this pro pro card, I want to be a pro athlete and that's my goal and that's what I'm training for every day and that's what I visualise for every day and obviously if you get a pro card then other opportunities open, um, competing overseas would be amazing, I'd love to do that, I'd love to be able to get abroad and compete on an international stage or go to America and compete, that would be amazing, so getting to that level is obviously what I want to do next. So, being here today is, uh, has opened my eyes a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be on stage in four days and it's in my hometown of Bristol. So, I wanna dominate this. I wanna come here and I wanna smash it. And uh, competing in Bristol is something you don't hear much. Um, you always got to travel to these, to these venues. So, competing here is something I'm looking forward to now. It's only around the corner, it's not far. It's about a 20 minute drive from my house. So uh, yeah, I look forward to getting on the stage now and, and giving it my all and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. So after 14 weeks of prep, um, I'm two days out. So obviously tomorrow is just pure rest day. 
Um, I've been carb loading and water loading today. So today is my last training session. So I'm just gonna go in, hit out a 40 minute body circuit, and then I'll call it a day. So this is my gym, this is my playground. Uh, this is the Fit Tank in Abbotsley, Bristol. It's probably about 50 minute drive from my house. Uh, so it's, it's a great place to train. About to take you in there, let's go.
that's it. Last session, body circuit done. In the playground, the therapy at the fit tank, Abbott's Lee. Absolutely smashed it. Can't wait to get on this stage now. So tomorrow, bits and bobs, I'll get it done. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so just got to a mate's house, um, just going to borrow some pump-up bands uh, from him for backstage. Um, so another job done. Basically, I've got a list because I'm just so forgetful at the moment. Um, so I've got a list of things I need to do today, the bits and bobs I'm running uh, today. So I've just had a haircut, I've had to get some car oil, the light come on, so I've had to get some car oil. Uh, I've done my banking today, this morning. Just got here, pick up the uh, pump-up bands. Um, I now need to go up to the mall, where I need to go also go get a few things. So um, I'm gonna pop up the mall. What I do need now is some food. And, and, in my prep bag, taking my bag everywhere for me at the moment. I've just hit the shop. I've got myself for backstage some Reese's Pieces and some Reese's Peanut Pieces um, peanut butter cup so um, I'll take that I'll be nibbling these on the way home I've got a show on Sunday so uh, I don't want to overdo my food uh, and just ram in a load of rubbish um, but I will take these 30 minutes before I pump up um, and this will just help me get more vascular and more of a pump quick quick sharp pump that's what we want and obviously some jam love my jam so spoon of jam i'll try not to get carried away with my jam because i will absolutely smash it so um yeah at the moment today is just strictly chicken so chicken meal going in now um and then fire up to the mouth Oh, a bit of a journey going up. Um, show tan. Just get my first layer done now, and then tomorrow I will get my second layer and a glaze before I hit stage. But just with show tan, I'm gonna get in there and get my first layer. So, from milk bottle. This is my mate. So town all done, just about to go battle the traffic home. Um, tonight I'm going to have steak and chips and two glasses of wine. I cannot wait for it. Let's get back and enjoy it. It's the night before my show. Um, I've had chips, oven chips, which is nice to get down. I've had chicken. I'm about to get these rice cakes down as well. I've had two glasses of wine, which was nice, as I've had no water all day. It was nice to get something down my throat um, to dry me out anyway. But it is what it is, and we'll get the show done tomorrow. I can't wait to wake up and see what condition I'm in. I'm buzzing to get on stage, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Get everything ready, and this is what I'm looking forward to the most, probably out of today. <laughs> um, so just get my food and everything prepared now. Um, got to remember to put ice packs in there. Uh, still got my list going. So forgetful, it's unbelievable. Um, so just running for everything now. Uh, Fiend where I'm doing um, 
international model. It's not themed wear, but is is going to be dress up smart sort of evening wear, um, which is new to me. So I'll give it a go. I've got beach, which is new to me today. I'm going to give that a go. I'm in condition, so um, I might as well do two other categories whilst I'm waiting around. But the main one is uh, physique. Um, I want to nail this. This this is the one that means a lot to me. This is what I want to progress on. So uh, physique's the one. But we'll see how today goes. Anyway, um, so I've got everything packed up and we're ready to roll. Show day today. Um, looking forward to it now. Nervous a bit more now uh, than I was yesterday and this morning. I was quite relaxed, but getting everything packed up now is starting to make me think that. This is it, you know, this is 14 weeks diet, training, everything's gone into 14 weeks for this weekend. So uh, let's get it done uh, and let's pack it and get ready. <laughs> British Championships and Finals. Today gathered here are some of the finest athletes across the UK. We've got some athletes travelled from across the world and all of them here are put Three, hard work. Two, one. Two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Ultimate Fitness League.
three, please. Woo! Come on, chaps! Come on, chaps! Come on, chaps! prize to the winner there so thank you very much black magic please get your photographs top three Reflecting on the show, it was it, it was a funny one because it was, it was such a good show. Um, the show was was really good. I was I was well entertained by it. Everyone who come and watched me were entertained by it. The tunes were just banging, um, and it was such an upbeat show. It was it was really really good. Um, I just you know finishing second, second and third, it was like it was amazing that you know out of all these athletes, I was noticed. Every category I'd done, I was noticed. They they gave me um, they gave me you know a, a place. They placed me basically. Um, so yeah, I just you know I, I had that feeling that I just I just missed that feeling. Just like I was happy that I placed, but I was I was I wasn't happy that I didn't get first place. That's just me, you know, I'm a very competitive person from football. I'm just competitive, I want the best, I want to be the best. Um, you know, even getting to the British finals last year, just being in the backdrop and not placing on stage, um, you know, it's just, you know, I was so proud to get to the British finals, but I was just being in the background, um, like a curtain, you know, I was just, just felt like a bit of, a bit of apparatus in the background um, and that's just me that's the way I think you know I just want the best and you know I always try and give it my best I would put in a hundred percent no no doubt about it, I put a hundred percent into diet I know I can I know I can diet the strange thing is I like dieting I actually like it I can do it I can just smash it stay strong in my mind and just do the diet it's not a problem um, so, yeah, I know what I need to do anyway, like, reflecting on the show, I know what I need to do, um, looking at footage, looking at photos, condition is not a problem for me, I know I can bring fine condition, and what I know I need to do now is, is, is have a good 10 months off on an off season, a good 10 months, hard training, go back and put in even more work, and you know, eat quality foods now and just get some decent nutrition down me and grow. I need to grow, I need to 
I need to get bigger. Um, I don't want to be massive. I like to stay agile. Um, so I don't want this massive look. I don't want people looking at me from crawling. It's massive, you know. Um, this is men's physique. You know, I like to stay agile. Um, you know, if I wanted to, to get big and massive, I'll go into classic bodybuilding or bodybuilding. Um, but I'm a men's physique competitor and I like to stay agile, like an agile look. So, yeah, I know what I need to do now. I need to go back and have 10 months uh, off. And my off season started this week. Um, I just had a bit of time off. I've been training um, and I had a photo shoot within the month. So, I've, you know, I've been training and dieting still. Um, but my off season actually starts now. And I know what I need to do and I look forward to it. Um, so it's down to the next one, 10 months. Like I said, I'll continue to go for this pro card and I'll keep on going and I'll keep having a good go at smashing it. Um, yeah, so that's what I need to do. So until the next time, massive thanks um, to, to going through this journey with me. And the journey hopefully has been decent. So next time we, we do it again, we get number two. Um, but yeah, it's been a journey and you know, I'm happy that I've got something to aim for. So, you know, bringing the positive out of this, I know what I need to do now.